This idyllic coral cave off the central Queensland coast is one of Australia's most significant seabird nesting sites. But as Northwest Island's popularity with campers has grown, so too has the house mouse population, with rodents hitching a ride from the mainland. Two years ago when we first tested the island, uh, we had mice spread throughout the island. I, we did some tunnel tracking out there and I, th I think at um, 119 of the 120 trap sites we detected mice. Uh, so it's fair to say it was fairly infested with mice. The mice attack nesting seabirds and destroy native vegetation. Northwest is, is our most popular island in the entire barrier reef for campers. Uh, so needless to say it was, um, it was causing some issues out there. It became a concern during 2016 to sort of 2019. We did surveys and noticed a 40% drop in the shearwater population, which is quite significant. Rangers began a two-year eradication project in 2020. We used a aerial baiting method where we used a helicopter to spread baits from a hopper uh, across the entire island. And we did three runs at that, um, mainly to make sure we didn't miss any breeding mice that may have young in their nests and, and come out after the initial baiting. Uh, and then we did monitoring following that. So we did five lots of monitoring where we use these ink tunnel traps. Uh, basically they're a, they're a baited tunnel uh, with an ink pad and the, and the mice come in, uh, yes. feed on the bait and then run across the ink pad yes. and leave their prints behind. The island is officially mouse free. Clear. That's it, the last trap. No mice on Northwest anymore. It's very significant. I mean, the, the seabird population on Northwest is a, is a significant breeding population for the east coast of Australia and the Barrier Reef. Uh, and to be able to say that those birds are out there now and able to breed pest free uh, is fantastic. It's been a huge team effort um, with the parks staff here in Gladstone and also the Gadarjal Land and Sea Ranges. The bird life will, will be, flourish a lot more and um, of course the campers will be happier. Experts say it provides hope for other islands battling invasive species. And I think every success that we can show where we've eradicated pests from islands is, um, is a win for conservation uh, because of the species that we actually that will benefit from the eradication of those particular invasive pests. It is an ongoing um, process though because if those islands are still accessed by people in any way, shape or form, there's still the potential that we can reintroduce those pest species back onto the island. So it's, it, it needs continual vigilance. And hopefully the public can help us with that. It's really important that people check all their gear, their camping gear, you know, when they pull it out of the back shed, roll it out, make sure there's nothing in there that they're going to take accidentally over to these islands.